with the Ducatis set up and ready to have its belts done. It wouldn't fit on the uh, ABBA Skylift because it kept hitting the exhaust. The only way I'd get it up in the air would be to take the exhaust system off of it. And last night I found a further issue. So if I come around to the clutch. The first time I actually pulled on the clutch lever, to be fair, and... Solid. So what actually happens is this is a master cylinder with fluid. Comes down here to its slave and the slave just pushes on a push rod that goes right through the gearbox. Go around the other side. Comes out in the center here and then it has a pressure plate. It's just another thing and it's like, ah. Uh, let's hope that it isn't um, a reaction between the aluminium and the strengthened steel push rod and they've welded themselves together. It's not really welding, is it? I mean, they've just, they've swapped electrons and stuff. <laughs> In my last video, I called this a monster black. It's not, it's an S model. So there you go, standard model, but uh, classed as an S. And I'm gonna hang these just there to tease me. Something else I wanted to do was check the fuel. A little bit of corrosion. Smell test. <coughs> well, it's not the worst, is it? Could be worse. And I'll pop this tank up and out the way because I need space. But also I need to remove the battery that's dead. So it's got this lovely little clip here. Freaky. Hello in there. Wow, the original filter. Looks like it's got a can and air filter, supposedly. What I love about these is that's right. It's got a little, a little stay, so it stays up in the air. Well, I was just going to get on with the belts, and I thought, you know, I've got to have a look, haven't I? Ooh. Hello. Well, that battery's gonna go recycle. At least we've got some accessibility now. This is all mould. That's what that is. First thing to go in the box. And yes, I'm desperate to fit this, but there's more important things to be doing. I am curious to look at the air filter. It's still got that frozen frog. And yeah, that's a. Uh, this is all just mold that's grown on the bike. So I'll give this area a really good clean down. Once we have examined the belts, a bit of a fracture there. It's not the end of the world. It's not the easiest thing to replace because you've got to actually take the uh, cam off. But hey. Mm. 
solid, solid as a rock. Oh, oh. oh were they locked tight on or what? That one's crossed. We know that much. Never quite sure how to treat them when they're in a bad state like that. I've been rotating that bottom one for a while now, it's not budging, so might need heli coil in since it's crossed. Mm, just super tight. Um, let me think about it. Just give it a quick example. Just rotate, rotate. Oh. Yeah, that'd be why nothing's happening because it's not actually attached to anything because it's all broken. <laughs> so I would say over tightened and it snapped off there. So it was only these three that were holding this cover on. And they were tight to be fair. And I think our lovely bit of plastic is actually broken off and gone because it's not there, so there you go. So it wasn't crossed, it was just rotating in space. And forever rotating. Okay, my friend. <clears throat> not that I can forget where these go, but it doesn't hurt, does it? Hello. Mm, different size. <laughs> <laughs> different size. Anything else different size? this again I clearly we are oil level looks good even if it's old oil it's still good enough for the engine to rotate whoa look at that as I go to undo it that that fracture was caused by over tightening fuck <laughs> fuck don't make me do a replacement oh the same with that side oh god what am I supposed to do? That is shit show. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Uh, smaller. Get that one undone, maybe. Let's try it. No. <sighs> so tight. Nightmare. A complete nightmare. Oi, oi, oi. Come on, my little friend. There you go. Finally. How about you? You coming with me? Oh, come on, Alex, you weakling. Well, it looks like this piece of the cover in, in, in a massive rush to come out because it seems to be attached to this piece and I'm really bothered about those two. So uh, these these are the bits that are damaged here and here and as you can see you've got a cam in the way in order to replace this section here. So given that they're damaged I'm not quite sure Yeah. And because it's old and brittle, you just got to be a little bit gentle with it. Don't be asking it to do things it can't do. Like, you're flexible. <laughs> well, it's turning out to be an absolute shit show. So, there's the piece that would have been in that back cover. I'm not sure what sort of repair I can do to uh, get that to hold into place. Nothing's coming free. <laughs> uh, but I got this one out with um, 
a lot of pressure here um, and to crack it off really quick and it broke the tension but this one well, these two are just literally welded bonded bonded themselves together through processes the problem is going to be fixing all up anyway i need two hands for this sorry i'll uh, film when it's removed Well, at least I've got this piece out intact, right? So there's a, that's something to be happy about. It's not all scratched and gouged up, but that's not good. I'll think about it. Anyway, let's check out the corrosion. Yummy. And I totally forgot to remove this piece. Look at you. Look at you all, all in there. We want to see a crank. We want to see a crank. Get out. All right. Well, that oil hose has got to come out of the way. So I'm going to use a quality span on it so that it sits on nicely. Let's see if we can just crack it off. Broken friend. Hmm. So I can pop this back on. Good life. Yes, we all can. Hey. I'm just going to nip it up now just to stop the dribble. And then we can get back onto where we want to be, which is examining the belts, tensioners, and guides to see where we're at. Okay, we're nipped up and we have a Deco belt. This little baby's getting genuine Ducatis. But I'm cool with Deco, I'm all right. You can see the corrosion where water's ingressed in and it's just sat there and done its thing. A bit of a worry about the uh, tensioners don't look too bad, but we'll see what the bearings are like. But the guides are properly rusty and my funnest bit was when I did this and was like, oh my god, the belt is stuck to it. <laughs> oh, there you go. And can you see the markets left on the belt <laughs> from corrosion? They're gonna need a bit of a clean off. Eey. All that's gonna happen is that corrosion there is quite rough, it's like sandpaper. And if they wanted guides to be like sandpaper they would make them and it will just delaminate this surface here and help uh, excessively wear the new belts out and there's a rusty crank fine no problem let's have a look at this guide yep same again we are rusty and we won't know what the bearings are like until we've taken attention off I'm going to give this entire area a good clean, but I really need to look at either getting a replacement part and taking the cam off. The owner's not going to like that. Uh, we're doing some kind of repair or something. I know you're going to vote repair. <laughs> we're going to see. Um, also, there's a leak from the uh, pump. So I just earlier, I just allowed the, uh, see that there? I just did a quick bypass. Uh, that's a vacuum actuated valve. This is a quick bypass and that we got a little leak from the pump. So I've ordered a gasket set for that pump. And it's not to say that I'm not smart because clearly I'm not because I left that valve on. I could have turned that valve off and probably only got a little bit of leak. And Anyway, in a perfect world, I turn that valve off and we only got a little leak, right? <laughs> hmm. Let's see what happens when I line up the crank to here. 
Let's just see where we're at timing wise. So in order to rotate the crank, I need to take its sparklers out. So let's get that out of the way. Well, that looks like new, <laughs> 10 year old new. Look how rich it was running. Whoa. <laughs> um, I might save him some money, isn't it? Although there's no point cheaping out on plugs, but wow. So add new sparklers. Yeah, it's running rich. It's not bad, it's not bad though, is it? So it had new plugs. Yeah. Oh. Why aren't you moving? That sounds horrible. Horrible. Not good. <laughs>